with interesting museums, innovative restaurants and contemporary art galleries, there is a lot to love about Charleston, South Carolina. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guide and today we share the things to know before you go to Charleston. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So firstly, let's look at the best time to visit Charleston. The best time to visit is from March to May and September to November, when temperatures are mild and comfortable, but not too hot. However, hotel prices are higher at this time, particularly in April. You can also visit in late November through to February if you don't mind wearing layers and want to avoid the crowds. So now let's look at getting to Charleston. The Charleston International Airport is 12 miles west of the city and offers 46 domestic routes, making it a popular option for those flying into the city. International visitors can fly via Charlotte or Atlanta and from the airport you can catch a taxi for around $25 or take the Carter Express bus to downtown Charleston. You can also catch an Amtrak here using the Silver Service route that runs between New York down to Miami. So now let's look at getting around. Charleston isn't a huge city, so walking around the sites is an easy option. You can use public transport and cabs, but you can also drive around the city centre too. There are plenty of parking facilities around Charleston. The public bus service named Carter costs just $2 for a one-way ride and can get you around most sites in the city. You can also catch the free downtown area shuttle known as Dash, with routes including stops near the South Carolina Aquarium, the Visitor Center, the Charleston Market and the Charleston Museum. So now let's look at typical prices. Budget hotels outside of the downtown area start at around $65, whilst mid-range hotels start at around $100. Hotels in downtown Charleston start at $170, whilst five-star hotels can cost at least $500 a night during high season. Charleston has some fantastic food options and prices vary accordingly. Breakfast and lunch can be found for under 15, whilst a sit-down southern meal will cost around $25 per person. So Charleston is a beautiful city, but it can be expensive, so find ways to save money where you can. If possible, opt for driving into the city rather than flying or taking the Amtrak. Flight prices can be very expensive. Plus, the city is drivable and walkable, meaning you can park your car in most areas of the city and get walking. If you are flying, check out the budget airlines Frontier and Spirit. They offer cheaper flights to the city at certain times of the year. You can also save money on accommodation by staying at a historic bed and breakfast. Not only do these tend to be cheaper than the modern hotels in downtown Charleston, but also offer a unique lodging option too. Avoid visiting in the high season and if you can, head here during restaurant week, which happens around January. During this week, plenty of restaurants take part, offering amazing unique dishes and set menus for a fixed and often reduced price, perfect for foodies. So now let's look at the best things to do in Charleston. Charleston has plenty of things to see and do to keep you busy. Firstly, start your trip by taking a walking tour with companies like Free Tours by Foot. This will give you an insight into the historic area and the nearby attractions. Learn about the US history at Patriots Point Naval and Maritime Museum and Fort Sumter before learning about Charleston's history at the Old Slave Mart Museum. Charleston is known for its historic plantations, so plan time to visit those that have now been turned into a museum. Visit the colourful street of Rainbow Row, eat as much low country cuisine as possible and take a ghost tour of the city too. Watch this video to find out the best things to see and do in the US. Then, to find out how to save money in America, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time in Charleston and stay creative.